Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Ron Jarrell Moore. An expansion could be on the way for Vigo County's Community Corrections Program. It could help reduce overcrowding at the new Vigo County Jail. News 10's Ben Verbanek spoke with local officials today about where the expansion plans currently stand. He joins us now live in the newsroom with more information. Ben? Patrice Rondrell, the Community Corrections Program is incredibly popular here in Vigo County. It's often used as a resource by nonviolent or drug related offenders who wish to take advantage of the live in work release program. Unfortunately, that program, like the Vigo County Jail, is at maximum capacity. That's why Vigo County Commissioner Mark Clinkenbeard tells me that there are serious conversations surrounding expanding that program. The Community Corrections Residential Facility is a common resource for the justice system here in Vigo County. The program has become so popular, in part due to jail overcrowding, that there are no more available beds for offenders. We built this and opened it in 2006 with 130 beds. We thought, wow, we'll never fill those beds. We thought we had space, so to speak, and we don't have space anymore. In an effort to open up more space at the jail and in community corrections, Vigo County commissioners have been exploring options for expanding the residential facility to take on more offenders. Commissioners hope this would cut down on extra expenses from housing inmates in other counties' jails. You know, we still have uh, inmates that are out of county. That costs us a lot of money every month. Um, if we can uh, keep those here in county, we'll be saving money that way. Commissioners have been looking at putting a new community corrections building next to the Vigo County Jail. This would allow both facilities to share a kitchen. Clinton Beard says that they hope to help twice as many people. This would be doubling our current capacity of about 130 to 260. Uh, so, you know, we are uh, in the early stages of getting uh, plans drawn up. Actually, we uh, look to have those done here in the next month or so. News 10 will continue to keep you updated as these expansion plans are finalized. Reporting live in the newsroom, Ben Verbanek, News 10.